Last summer, during the Euro 2020 Cup, a young professional soccer player collapsed on the field for cardiac arrest. I remember that day very clearly. The sun was shining. I was in my garden surrounded by wonderful friends. My kids were running around with the Danish flags colored all over their faces. That moment of joy and celebration changed just like that. We were all experiencing a tragedy, something that could happen anytime, anywhere, to anybody. But immediate recognition of arrest, immediate performance of cardiopulmonary resuscitation, and immediate shock treatment made it possible for this young man to return back to life. And six months later, he's playing in Premier League. And he's on the national team. I can't stop smiling. I mean, that is an amazing story, right? Every year, 5,000 individuals experience out-of-hospital cardiac arrest in Denmark. Even though the Danes are world champions in resuscitation, only 14% survive. The greatest impact on survival is you guys, the community citizens. You are the heroes. When you recognize an arrest and start resuscitation rapidly, that improves survival remarkably. But sometimes, even heroes need some help. Not everyone can be shocked back to life. Some will have refractory cardiac arrest, which means they do not respond to traditional treatment. For years, we've been telling ourselves that if a person has refractory cardiac arrest for more than 20 or 30 minutes, we stop. But really? We just give up? Let's challenge that. What if I tell you that a pump can save more lives? A pump called ECMO. ECMO can be connected to large vessels in the lower extremity. It pumps blood from the patient through a membrane, adds oxygen, and returns the blood back to the patient, giving immediate support and circulation to vital organs like the heart and the brain. We want to protect this one. This gives physicians crucial time to identify and treat the underlying cause of arrest while the patient is recovering. ECMO is not new. ECMO has been performed in Denmark for more than a decade, but we had no idea how well we were performing. But in my PhD, we found that more than 25% of patients treated with ECMO survived. Not only did they survive, they survived with a good neurological outcome. This is important. Remember, these are patients we most likely would have given up on. A pump does save more lives. But we still need to figure out which patient will benefit the most. What is the optimal timing to connect ECMO? These are some of the questions I want to answer. Because the ultimate goal for me as a physician is to see as many cardiac arrest survivors return back to their families and friends with good quality of life. <coughs> Whether that is to pursue a career in Premier League or see your kids grow up a bit cookies with your friends, that doesn't matter. But every life matters. Thank you.